back everyone my name is Patrick you're watching the Oilers rundown I'm gonna do a little talk on the defense tonight if this is your first visit to the channel and you love Oilers talk please consider hitting that subscribe button and I will keep you up to date with all the latest Oilers content and conversation with that said let's get to it it definitely feels like there's an uptick on Twitter especially with Daniel Nugent Bowman of The Athletic I've noticed over the past 24 or 48 hours or so He's been putting out quite a few tweets in support of Chikrin, and everything we've heard is the Oilers don't have a great deal of interest, and Daniel Nugent Bowman has noted that in his tweets as well, that there really isn't the interest there from the Oilers, and that's kind of always been my focus as well. Yeah, I know, everybody wants Jacob Chikrin, but the Oilers don't seem to want him, so don't get your hopes up. But Chikrin has returned from injury with the Coyotes this year, and put together a solid little season so far. I mean, the Coyotes aren't doing gangbusters, Chikrin isn't lighting up the league, but he's been putting up stats that show he's solid defensively, he's looking great offensively, and that contract, it's been amazing right from the start. This year, and two more years at $4.6 million. You just, no matter what trade you go for, you can't beat the value that Jacob Chikrin brings you. Like I said, I've tried to keep any enthusiasm or... Too much talk about him from taking over the channel because the Oilers just don't seem to have any interest, but could Ken Holland finally be wavering? There really hasn't been any indications of that, but the media has definitely taken notice of the season he's having and the struggles, of course, that the Oilers are having defensively. Darnell Nurse, Cody Ceci, Brett Kulak, they're all being played too much. The Oilers desperately need help on defense. As I mentioned yesterday, according to an interview with Ken Holland, it looks like help won't be coming until at least January, possibly February. Ken Holland was saying all the teams he's talked to want to wait at least another 10 or so games before they consider anything. So as a result, of course, the Oilers are in a pinch. They want to upgrade their defense, but they're certainly not the only team in the NHL that wants to do that. And very few teams are actually willing to make a trade right now. So the end result is we have to wait. The defensive results from this team so far this year cast no shadow of doubt. The Oilers desperately need help, and I think they need to add as many as two defensemen, one to the top four, one to the bottom pairing, if they're going to make any noise come playoff time. Because the Oilers simply have no depth right now that they can call on. You're not seeing some guy that's poised for a breakout right now. Almost everybody's struggling, and Jason Demers is currently the best defenseman the Oilers have to call on from Bakersfield. So, yeah, the Oilers definitely need to make a trade. Is it going to be right away? Doesn't sound like it, but a trade absolutely does need to happen here at some point. And Jacob Chikrin, with the season he's having, that contract, I think he does need to come more into the conversation right now. He needs to become a focal point. It's pretty much universal among Oilers fans on Twitter right now that they want the Oilers to go for Jacob Chikrin. He's definitely the number one target in most Oilers fans' minds. I know the Oilers don't seem to have any interest. The price tag is high, but the Oilers really have to consider going for it here. This is a team that needs to do better now. This team needs a serious upgrade. And with the way Jacob Chikrin is playing right now, he's a guy that brings that defensive side brings that offensive side. He's really the whole package right now. And the absolute best part about Jacob Chikrin is that contract. $4.6 million for this year and still two years to come. As we look around at other targets out there, Eric Carlson, over $11 million bucks. Matthias Ekholm of the Nashville Predators. He was talked about on the broadcast a lot last night. He'd be excellent too, but he's over a $6 million cap hit with multiple years on it, so maybe he's the next best target. But I don't know. Joel Edmondson from the Montreal Canadiens for Xavier Borgo does not get me excited. Joel Edmondson, sure, he might help, but I don't want to be giving up Borgo to get him. And yeah, I know Jacob Chikrin has a very high price tag, but Jacob Chikrin is also a younger defenseman, a guy that you know is going into your top four, and a guy you know you have for two more years at $4.6 million. You can't say that about Joel Edmondson. He's clearly not the answer to be spending a huge price tag on. Now, we know Vladislav Gavrikov of the Columbus Blue Jackets is out there. $2.8 million cap it. He's someone that would help in the number four, number five position. So you could maybe bring someone from the top four down a little bit lower. But I think, in my mind, right now, Jacob Chikrin is definitely the best target 
despite the high price tag. I know we're going to lose somebody important, but he's a guy that can help you win this year and for the next two years to come at a great cap hit when the cap isn't going up very much. And I think he can be an actual real difference maker for the Edmonton Oilers. Well, that's where my thoughts are right now, guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night.